Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. I'm back at you, back from Alaska. It's Sunday, August 7, 2022, and I'm down here at the landings. Fisherman's Landing, Point Loma Sport Fishing, H&M Landing, and checking out the boats coming in. Been a little bit out of the game. I was slaying the sockeye salmon up in Bristol Bay, Naknek, Alaska with the set net, one set net, 300 foot long. We got 45,000 pounds of salmon. We got 10,000 pounds on one tide. If you haven't already, check out the video on that one. I already got it up on the channel. Two parts, third part coming out soon. And then if you haven't already, go reminder, smash that subscribe. Pound that like, show love and support for the channel. Thank you for all love and support. Living the dream, back at it here in San Diego, as stoked as can be. I was flying the drone earlier when I came back in, so about July, and Nam was still killing it on the offshore game with the bluefin tuna controlling the Mad Max. Like we did in the other video, he continued that on for four or five trips in a row there. What's the report? <laughs> got him. You got four? Uh, yeah, we got four. All, all big? <laughs> there it is. Look at how chewed up his Mad Mac is. <laughs> <laughs> Making right. it happen, good hey, job, <laughs> bro. So getting the limits. Woo wee! Dang! <laughs> yeah, that's a solid fish, dude. Stoked. No baby. Making it happen, as always. <laughs> Just beast mode. It was mostly in the afternoon. Did they bite it all in the morning? I left in the afternoon, bro. I left at three. Well, I left out uh, two or... And you, did, you got one on the way back? No, they were all in the same zone, just right there. Literally, we would hook up, and then they were just foaming right next to the boat. I was trying to throw poppers and stuff, but I didn't want to make it more complicated, you know? Right. Just focus on the Mad Max. Because one guy got on the popper, and he fought it for three hours, and he lost it. On another boat you saw? Yeah. Was there a lot of people out there? Um, there was like a couple other boats. But it, they were all spread out. And everyone was just trolling hard? Uh, well, or, or flying the kite? Pe a couple people were flying the kite, and then some people were trolling, and then some people were just chasing filmers. Kite get anything good? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't sure. pay attention right. to that yet. But they were flying it right there, though. Right. They were flying it right into the filmers. But yeah, it was crazy the amount of So they weren't just breezy, they didn't work breezy, they were full on foaming. Jumping out. Straight body jumper, just going As, nuts, dude. Yeah. Would was, they stay up when you got near them, or would they dip down? Huh? The what? Would they stay up or dip down uh, when you got near they them? Kind, they kind of went down, yeah. but but not just drag it through and then they hit it. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, man. It's good. There, South Nine Coronado Canyon, making it happen. So he gave me the report on that. Hooked me up with some tuna. Then I got the report from Grant and the Troll Hard crew that I got the blue fin with on the spreader bars early in the year, that they they got some, uh, they got four big blue fin and one smaller one. They hooked me up with the smaller one. And I was hey, down Glenn, there and I saw Glenn Sandog get Glenn a new boat. So Glenn's got the new yeah, boat. I was planning on Wanted to walk skip, around Parker. I ended up going offshore with him. But unfortunately his motor wouldn't start and we had to get towed back in by sea tow 24 miles out. So I haven't really been fishing. I've been trying to get my content up and haven't been fishing a whole lot, but here I am back doing my reports today. So we'll see, it's, I think it's mostly kelp paddy fishing right now. Yellowtail Dorado, yellowfin. We came across the yellowfin one time. Let's check it out. They got the new awnings up here, these blue shades above Fisherman's Landing, that's nice. Shogun's coming in. Oh, they got, it looks like they got some tuna on the back of Shogun that they're unloading. Yellowtail tuna. It looks like there's a big tail in there too. Let's 
see what we got here. Long range trip with a rockfish. Outrider got it. Probably on the kite. Outrider. Eight day trip to Leho Rocks, it sounds like Shogun went on. Yellow tail. What's up, bro? You getting back from a trip? Yeah. How'd you do? Yeah, it was rough out there. It got what? too yellow too. Yeah, you just kelp patty fishing? Kelp patty. What boat were you on? On the O95. Oh, Oceanside 95? Yeah, I saw that they were anchored up uh, out there. Just a day and a half trip? Day and a half. Yeah. I know that's how it goes this time of the year. It's kind of like yeah. just that kelp patty fishing, yellow tail. At least it seems like the good quality of the yellow tail, yellow right? They're decent, size. decent yeah. size. Yeah, that's good. Did you, and you didn't have to drop down the pound like to 15 pound or like 18 no, pound to get bit they were eating 30 pound 40, oh 40 pound really got two yellow tail, two nice oh good for him so he got to crank on some yeah, huh we did, we did. nice yeah. Yeah. Dang, <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> that's nice <laughs> Nice. She was going down at H&M Landing. Yellowtail and Dorado. Couple Doritos. Couple nicer Dorados. Red Rooster 3s, you got some bigger size tuna. Looks like the boats that went further. Some tuna. Nice. 
Red Rooster 3 has got the tunas. Would the Mako hit a jig? No, my free gaff. Oh, you free gaffed it? <laughs> free gaffing Mako. <laughs> That's always what's going on. Oh, right on. Let me, let me give you a card real quick. So we're docked to What we do is when people drop off their fish, so we they go straight to the processor. We pick it up at the processor after it's already done so they don't have to come back down. They don't have to screw with it. Oh, I gotcha. And then we deliver it. So we've got a refrigerated band. We've got we've got all the means and the measures of doing it and getting it out there. We've been doing it for about six months now, so and it's actually working out real well. There you go. What's your name? My name's Woody. Right on, Woody. Nice to meet you. Nice Thanks for watching you. the videos. You know, here's here's Wahoo right here. Yeah. That that looks like a grouper, right? That's a leopard grouper. Yeah. Are you guys going? To, you're not going to Leho Rock, are you? You're not going. Yeah. It takes seven, it's like a seven or eight day trip to eleven. Yeah. Have you been to Rio Rock? No. Have you been uh just, just on the video, you know, just in front of the at home on the computer. That's all I do. What about yeah? <laughs> Hurricane, <laughs> Hurricane Bank. Thank you.